Hello people and hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Rahmati. Welcome to my channel once again. It's day four of the partial lockdown imposed in Ghana. And in fact, if you go outside, it doesn't look like an it doesn't look like a lockdown, especially from where I sit. When you go outside, you see people walking about doing going about their normal businesses like nothing is happening. And in those places that the security people are trying to enforce the law people are having problems with them people are protesting against them people i saw a video in which the a soldier man was being beaten by a mob i saw another one in which a young man punched a military person in the face why are we doing this we are not they are not saying we should stay indoors just so uh, they can punish us they are saying we should stay indoors for our own protection and for the protection of our neighbors it's for the greater good of all of us and yet people are having problems in it this man in your shot is the president of the philippines and this is how he puts it they have uh, uh, imposed a total lockdown on their country and then he is saying that he has given out orders that any person who breaks the law and moves out and gets out should be shot dead he didn't say shot down he said shot dead i'll just leave you to watch the video and see for yourself i did at the start of the epidemic Many countries in the region have imposed tough restrictions on movement. Malaysia is reporting early signs of a slowdown in the infection rate. But the government says strict control measures need to be adhered to. The president of the Philippines has ordered soldiers and police to shoot anyone who violates the mandatory month-long lockdown. Rodrigo Duterte issued the warning after a protest by residents in a poor area of Manila, complaining about the lack of food and government aid. My orders are to the police and military, also with the village officials. If there are troubles or occasions where there's violence and your lives are in danger, shoot them dead. Rights groups have criticized his remarks, with Amnesty International calling them heartless and unjustifiable. So fellow Ghanaians, you have seen for yourself and you have heard for yourself what he just said. He said, shoot them dead. That if the security personnel ever get pressured by the citizens and they feel that their lives are in danger, they should shoot them dead. A military person was punched in the face and nothing happened. Nobody was shot. Another one was beaten to a pulp and no one was shot and people are still moving about any way they like some people I've, I've heard a story of a young man who was uh, seen by the patrol team at nine o'clock in the night they asked him where he was going to and he said he was going to buy food later on an hour after they saw him again at a different location and they asked him where he was going again and he said he said the same thing that he was going to buy food he was questioned that we saw you an hour ago and you said you were going to buy food and now again you are saying you are going to buy food once more what is going on what kind of food are you buying but by this time of the night and he said that he had heard rumors that the, the military persons are going to be beating them. So he just came out to see if it's true or not. What do you think the military people should do to a person like this? He has no reason to go out. He just went out to test what is going to happen if he breaks the law. Well, guess what? If it were in Philippines, this is what would have happened. You would have been shot dead. So please, let's caution ourselves and stay indoors. If you have nowhere to go, please stay inside. Coronavirus is out there, but it's us that carries it around. If it's out there and it has nobody to carry it, 
it will disappear by itself. So please, let's stay home in order to win this fight. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thank you.